What's going on, guys? Happy Juneteenth. Welcome to the Fox and Miles podcast. I'm Miles. And I'm Fox. Yeah, happy Juneteenth. Happy, happy Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Uh, <clears throat> how are you, Fox? I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm getting to the hungry. Yeah, we're going to have right, to get so. something to eat, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't want you being hungry. That's all good. Yeah. Um, so, today on our podcast, again, I hope everyone is doing well, and uh, thank you guys again for continuing to support us on our journey yes. and the content that we produce and stuff we are working on putting out more stuff for you guys I feel like we say this uh, every video yeah and, but, but we true. are yeah we are we, <laughs> we, rolling them out now we really we gotta, are we like gotta, we're trying to we, we got a plan we got a, a system yeah and, a system that's what and, i was trying to say and ideas to be able to put this stuff out and yes. you know there's a lot been going on you know yeah. in 2020 y'all know especially yeah there's a lot been going on i told but, somebody i feel like 2020 molly want me oh yeah like just yeah psh. yeah any plans that you had 2020 clear vision nobody got clear vision right now nope. what a joke you know what i'm saying the irony you know except the, you know you know that could be a whole different topic we yeah. talk about there's a lot a lot of deep stuff going on but anyways yeah, there is. yeah. but anyways mm-hmm. so we just want to continue to share content with you guys and hopefully that you enjoy sharing more of our personal thoughts and feelings and yeah. things like that so thank you thank you thank you guys for continuing to support us we yeah. really 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 do appreciate it we sure do so yeah so today's topic um we're going to be talking about if if we could if we can go back in time yeah would we could we um choose not to go to college yeah so and i don't know if you want to stage it i mean sure i mean it's at this point it's june so i've been getting so i'm thinking about going back to school and so um i've been getting a lot of emails i applied for a school in chicago and i didn't get any federal aid at all so whatever so that's not gonna happen financial aid sorry yeah and um i mean the only aid that i got were were loans but that's a whole other story that's is that really aid is that aid hello i mean i mean i guess that's not help yeah i mean i guess loans are aiding you but Mm, no because you gotta pay that back in the long run yeah so anyway um so yeah so a lot of schools are getting back to like oh yeah you know so they want my decision this Mm -hmm. month which is crazy because it's like what the heck there's a pandemic pandemic going on like so even if i did have all intentions to go to school it's still kind of like well i don't know i don't know if i'd be able to do it we don't know what the state of the world is going to be like in september or august or whenever school starts and so um it's having a lot of students that i've you know i've seen or whatever been like "Mm, i don't know if i should go to school yet they're talking about people taking a year off and stuff and how bad that's gonna you know be for the school economy and stuff like that whatever so but i mean so the question that we had was would we go to school like if we were just graduating from co- from college high from high school yeah. like this year yeah. class of 2020 yeah. will we go back to school yeah. what would we do differently yeah. what do we enjoy yeah. like what was our college experience yeah. like um yeah so i mean i guess you can go first you graduated first <laughs> sure uh, so wait all right let's let's break it down by questions okay because you listed like three or four you're questions. right it was a lot so, so let's um if if we were both graduating we'll just say we're both graduating at the same time so would we intend to go to college if we know what we know right yeah, now if we knew what we know right now, and we're going back because I mean, clearly we already did it right so. going back in time and have the opportunity yeah to go to college or do something else yeah what would i do yeah. i would not go to college <laughs> or at least i would say this i would not no nah, i wouldn't go to college like i think for me i would initially go to like a trade school that would be i mean i guess if you want to consider that college sure higher learning um, yeah but the, I, w- I would i would definitely do a trade school i would go to a trade school right out of high school mm-hmm. um so that i can start working yeah and then from there if i really did want to go to do higher education or whatever i would but to be honest i don't even particularly see the need for it because mm. I, I think a lot of the things that i want to do now that i found out about myself i don't need school for Um, you can get training, like again, trade training and stuff like that, but to go to a four year university or anything like that, no, no, no real need for that. Like you can actually learn a lot of the stuff that I feel like I've learned. Um, wasn't in school, wasn't, wasn't necessarily in school. It was like a a lot of self-taught stuff. Mm. Um, I think what I would do, (laughs) what I would do, if I know what I know now, when I go back in time, I would, I would go by different schools or whatever and try to see if I can pick up syllabuses 
or syllabi that's for smart. different programs and just pick up the books. That's smart. Like, that's what I would do. Um, because I mean, you can purchase any book that you want. It might be a little costly. But yeah, you it can, might be but costly. it's cheaper than tuition. Yeah. So, like, I majored, I majored in American studies. And so, what I would say the biggest benefit that I got from doing American studies and my concentration was media studies was being able to, to develop a different way of analyzing and viewing media viewing culture and viewing the world like that definitely helped me to be more critical and be uh uh i guess more open to other things that's going on it's like everything is not always just what it seems Mm -hmm. on the surface Mm -hmm. so sometimes you got to dig differently you got to pick up something and look at it from various angles and that's something i feel like I, i definitely benefited from and i really appreciate but at the end at the end of the day it didn't necessarily give me a job yeah so i mean it was something to help me grow as a person and something to grow and develop my mindset and my my perspective and stuff like that but that's why i would i would more specifically choose a trade so that oh i can go and make money and then while i'm making money or if i have the ability to to make money i would look further into that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. like okay how can i continue to develop my worldview or develop how i analyze culture and things like that not necessarily as a hobby but as a to way to have self-development or mm-hmm. whatever so there's a you know there's a lot of ways that you can do that without going to an institution or a yeah. university or a college so no my answer is no mm. what about you no um i mean I, I think i would okay let's go back when i was in high school i went to largo high school mm. woo, woo, pg county again um you for those to, who cares what, i know i'm gonna say who know North, northwestern high school yeah on the wildcats ne- oh excuse us hey. oh but he graduated <laughs> 06 yeah i graduated 08 yeah and um when i when i was in school we were right next to pg prince george's community college mm-hmm. right and so there was this joke going around that like pg pgcc yeah. which is the initials yeah. for the college yeah PGCC was like 13th grade. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody kept telling yeah. us. And so the goal was like, oh, I can't go to PG college yeah. because then I'm not going to be legitimate, right? Yeah, it kind of seems like it's beneath you or whatever. If, if I it's knew... It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. If I knew that, one, I would save money, I would still gain the same skills. So I went to school for ASL, for American Sign Language. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so for the four years, actually I spent nine years, that's the whole other story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it took me nine years to graduate, but whatever. Yeah. Um, I was learning ASL skills. Low key, PGCC had ASL classes right there for way cheaper. Yeah. And I would have stayed home. I would have been able to work. Like, And the thing is, when I was in college, I did work. I worked at McDonald's and I also traveled from Baltimore, Towson University, okay. to DC to work at Lucky Strike as a yeah. server. Mm-hmm. So I had, and I also worked on campus, which was paying me pennies. Yeah. Um, it just wasn't worth it. So yeah. I was going back and forth between Baltimore and DC, trying to make money. And the whole time, I could have had free room and board at mommy's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, I, of course I would have to pay for stuff myself, yeah. but like, you know what I mean? Like I would have yeah. saved so much money in the long run. <laughs> um, so even if I wanted to, so yes, I would still have to go to school to become an interpreter. Yeah. Like that's, I would eventually have to have a degree to be certified because yeah. in order to be a certified interpreter, mm-hmm. you have to have a college degree. Right. I don't think that that should be the case, but I don't make the rules. Right. So eventually, yes, I would have had to have a degree, but mm-hmm. I would have saved a lot of time mm-hmm you know, and been able to save money yeah. by just going to PGCC, yeah. getting my gen eds out the way, yeah. learning American Sign Language, actually yeah. being close to like a deaf community in mm-hmm. DC, like off the metro yeah, and been true. able to up my skills. Yeah. Yeah. I like, it's it's frustrating now cause I'm paying all this <laughs> back, right? Yeah. And, um, and that way I could have had money in my pocket um, because the thing is about um, like, four-year institutions the schedules are are crazy Mm -hmm. so i had to work at a place like mcdonald's Mm -hmm. where like i could come in for two hours from Mm -hmm. like or come in from six to eleven and then go to class and then come back you know what i'm saying from like 12 to i don't know five or something like it it really it really provided that like mcdonald's provided flexibility but it really limited my options to really work and save money yeah and then also like towson was expensive Mm -hmm. like it was just expensive. Even yeah. though it was in-state, it still yeah. cost a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So I probably would have to end up going to school eventually to yeah. become an interpreter. Yeah. But I probably would have done it totally different. Mm-hmm. Um, I also, I also starting out, I probably would have used my, I would have looked more into my talents. 
Mm. So, you know, they tell you when you're in when you're in high school. Okay, first of all, let's be real about how people market to high schoolers. Yeah, yeah. Colleges come, they recruit people. They don't tell you everything. They don't tell you. They tell you all the glamorous stuff, and it yeah. makes it look, you know, appealing and all this other stuff. But they don't tell you all the the work that's going to be on the back end. Talk yeah. about money more right. specifically. Right. And so, um, I wish someone would have told me that I could make money from my music. Right. That I could make money from my writing. Oh, yeah, from yeah. you know, at the time I wasn't really into photography. Yeah. But like that I had other options. Yeah. There wasn't really any other options provided for me. Yeah. It was like, oh you graduate, even the the counselors, yeah. you graduate, you go to school. Yeah. Like that's that's it. Like Either there there school, was no Yeah. Get a job or the military. Yeah, or the military. Yeah. And again, that's a whole other thing, especially with poor communities or yeah. like people, I say people of color, use yeah. that use li- loosely. Yeah. But specifically black, because PG is majority black people. Yeah. And they would come, and I really considered joining the Marines. Mm-hmm. I really considered it. Yeah. Thank God I didn't. Um, but shout out to all my, you know, veterans yeah. out there. Uh, my father was in the Navy. Yeah. So, like, you know, to me, there wasn't that many options available. No one even mentioned trade school. Mm-hmm. No one told me about trade school at all. I found out about yeah. that, like, later on. Yeah. And I also felt like, I also didn't know that there was money in trade school. Like, there's money in HVAC, and there's money yeah. in, like, you yeah, know, engineering, electricity. Yeah. Like that. Stuff that people would look down on. Yeah. You know, and it it goes like with this elitist thinking in my yeah. mind. There's so much, so much I could say, yeah. but it's just like this elitist, like, oh, you have to be better than that. And yeah. it's like, am I better than that now that I'm like hundreds of thousands of dollars <laughs> in debt? <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? Compared to, you know, homeboy over here who got his own business and is right. making his own money right. and paying for his, you know, for everything. Yeah. No, like I would have rather been in his position. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and, and I get it because... I feel like the generation that came before us, even like our teachers mm-hmm. and our counselors and stuff like that, and even our parents, mm-hmm. they come from a different time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When that was the formula. Mm-hmm. You graduate, you go to school, you get yourself a good government job. Yep. And so what has happened is like millennials or like our age and after yeah. have found that one, the bar has been raised, mm-hmm. right? So it's not enough that you have a college degree anymore. Yeah. Now you got to have a master's. Oh, yeah. And so what does that cost? Oh, yeah hundreds of thousands of dollars so yeah. even if i get this good government job mm-hmm. i'm still gonna be paying back this loan for forever right you know what i'm saying so right. no one is really explaining the process of this and i can't even imagine if we have kids what their college price is gonna be i don't i'm gonna steer them away from college as yeah. much as possible. if if they want to be a doctor or something yes you have yeah. to go to school yeah that, yeah this is different yeah like, whether it's like doctor or like lawyer right i get things that. like that like but, but even with those that's like that's almost like a specific trait right like it's very that specific, is very specific like yeah. I'm, what i want to do you yeah know? versus like oh random college degree out here yeah. and i think and um me and my mother talked about this because i call it my degree trash i said <laughs> i said my degree is trash and yeah. and i say that to not be offensive but yeah. to say that my degree does not give me a job yeah. all my degree says like literally is deaf studies yeah that's it yeah. what does that mean yeah. the study of deaf culture and yeah. language yeah. right and so i can only i can only really i can only go so far if i want to be an interpreter i have to go back to school because yeah. i have to get training and i have to become yeah. certified and i have to become learned yeah. in like all the rules and all this other stuff mm-hmm. so my degree i literally cannot use except yeah. just to apply to any job mm-hmm. that says oh you just need a college degree yeah. it's not specific yeah. it's not you know what i'm saying it doesn't yeah. make me special yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. just like oh you meet the basic qualifications yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. and to that i know i get very passionate but to that <laughs> um i think it's very unfair that the bar has been moved for us because for people coming up before us, like our parents and all this stuff, you got to learn stuff on the job. You had on the job training, you had um, mentors or people like um, apprenticeships. apprenticeships. Like you had stuff like that where people were willing to donate, not donate, but work with their time to train you. Like they would get paid to train you. Now they want you to be trained already before you show up on the job. (laughs) Meanwhile, you just got out of school. You don't have no job experience. (laughs) Like, like what you want me to, you want me to have a college degree and five years experience experience. that's not realistic and why did you make it these rules when those weren't the same rules for you yeah you know what i'm saying anywho um even with interpreters yeah them qualifications weren't necessary 30 years ago yeah because it would be different (laughs) if it was like college degree or yes experience yeah but a lot of times it's like no you must you have you have to have a degree and then you have to have been working for yeah 
extended amount of time. It's like you want like all this experience. You want me to be like 40 years old. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. And then yeah. it's not fair to the people who, for whatever reason, maybe they had kids, maybe they got married, maybe they and maybe they couldn't afford school. Like that's yeah. one of the reasons why it took me nine years to graduate mm-hmm. because I couldn't afford it. Yeah. Um, and I had to, and they weren't willing to give me any more money. Um, as in loans, not yeah, even yeah. like grants. Yeah. Um to even help me finish school. I had to come up with that money by ourselves. Yeah. Like that last semester, yeah. Miles and I paid for that. Yeah. So, um, anywho, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what was the other question? The second question. Yeah. What would you do differently? I think you already said that. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, but if I you mean, have anything else. I guess if, okay, so say I did go back to school or yeah. college or whatever, what would I do differently? Yeah. Um, I think I would try to, I would, I would have majored in something different at least. Um, like if I had to go back to school and like do that same route, I would have majored in like broadcast journalism or something like that. Something that's that, cool. cause ultimately that's not exactly what I did, but out of, out of curiosity, interest and like hobby on the side, I kind of have done a lot of stuff to get me, mm-hmm. I think that would line me up with that field. So mm-hmm. doing stuff with videos, doing stuff with like audio. So whether it's mixing, mastering music, um, doing what we're doing now is a form of like broadcast journalism, mm. um, things like that. So I think that would have equipped me to at least be able to have something on paper and develop some of the experience to be able to put my foot in the door some other ways. Cause I mean, ultimately what I had to do was kind of like finesse my hobbies and mm. the experience that I gave to be like, Hey, I know what I'm doing. Yeah you know over time because yeah. like my one of my first jobs out of out of college was working at a radio station but while i was out while i was working at that radio station i was doing other random stuff um like at the church i was going to at the time i was helping them with a lot of their av needs and stuff like that but as volunteer i wasn't mm-hmm. being paid mm-hmm. and like they eventually offered me a job doing that on the job training yeah and that was on the job training you know there was no job yet right you know so like but you know by god's grace that opportunity was created for me and i i'm very appreciative for that but again that wasn't i didn't learn that mm-hmm. in school like that was because of my interest and my hobbies that you know i i took advantage of yeah so yeah if, if i would do something different it would major in something different um more specifically knowing like okay how can i get a job after yeah. this yeah like and not not even like i wouldn't even say a specific job but more of i have something that's helped me develop skills so that i can do work in a particular field you can like apply yeah yeah, yeah what yeah. you're learning yeah, yeah yeah instead of like okay i'm gonna be specifically this which mm-hmm. is i don't think there's anything wrong with that but i would rather have a broad Stroke. stroke of like available skills that can work in an industry yeah so say i did broadcast journalism i w- my assumption is i didn't do the degree yeah but my assumption is i could do stuff in radio i could do stuff in um tv mm-hmm. i could do stuff like even documentaries and things like that so mm-hmm. it gives me the opportunity to like oh this whole entertainment this whole media communications field i have the opportunity to do something yeah um i think it would be great yeah you know what about yourself um i think i would have if i'm gonna be in debt i might as well have been in debt for something that i actually enjoyed um i mean asl is fun Mm -hmm. don't get me wrong i think i just might have maybe minored in it it. oh thank you thank you um i still got to brush up on my asl skills i know but um i think i would have been brave and majored in creative writing or music um i didn't because it was told to me that art don't make you money and uh in that if you're going to be an artist the only way that you can really make money is by teaching art by teaching art or like being in art therapy which would right. require you to get another degree yeah. um in therapy mm-hmm. um and so it's, it's very it was very specific and to me i was like i don't really want to do that like right. sure i can teach but like i want to just make art and i just yeah. want to be good at it you yeah. know um and then with that like you don't have to go to school for that yeah. you don't like literally like the greats that we look up to a lot yeah. of them don't have degrees yeah. a lot of them didn't finish high school yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. like but they're amazing artists right and i think that they just had the people around them to help them come mm-hmm. up but also like trial and error right you know right. of yeah. just like trying to figure out okay what works what works in this music business in this yeah. music industry yeah um, but yeah, if I was going to be in debt, then I might as well have majored in music and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I think I was so focused on 
becoming employable, right. you know, that yeah. I was like, well, no, I need to, you know, I can always do music on the side and yeah. I can always write on the side. Yeah. Um, and I could do this as like my backup, but then it kind of yeah. backfired because yeah. now I'm going back to school again. Yeah. Um, and this program that I'm, that I'm going in is at a community college. Yeah. Um, it's out of county, so yeah. I still got to pay out of county costs, which is like what? But um, yeah. so I got to pay out of county, but it's way cheaper than um, my degree from Towson, yeah. and I could probably pay like out of pocket over like a payment plan or something, yeah. and hopefully get a grant for it. Yeah. So yeah. Um, if I if somebody if a kid were to ask me today if they should go to school, honestly, sis, bro, if you're not going to be a doctor, if you're not going to be a lawyer, um, if you're not going to be something that we talked about like early, like really specific, really, yeah. really something that requires your dedication and like your yeah. time and like yeah. that commitment, yeah. I would say take a year off. Yeah. Um, for many reasons. Number one, you're only 18 or 17 or 16. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know what you really want to do with the rest of your life. You yeah. might have an idea right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you have that idea, do an internship. Mm -hmm. If you can, do an internship somewhere. Go to community college. Get take some gen eds to you know put yeah. your feelers out there. Figure yeah. out what you really want to do. Yeah. Um, and even if you're even if you're not. 16 17 18 like yeah. even if you're 55 you yeah. know what i mean like if you're interested in something like you're never too old to learn that's the oh, first yeah. thing yeah. and so second thing if you're interested in something just put out your feelers out there and just try it yeah. ask like places are always looking for volunteers yeah. places are always looking for people like to intern or like to have an entry-level position if you yeah. can um learn how to do the stuff that you want to do yeah. if you're if you know a friend who owns a business and you want to learn how to be le an electrician electrician yeah. ask to follow him along for the day to yeah. see what that's really like to to run a yeah. business and to see the behind the scenes and to see him actually at work and see yeah. what it requires and I would say the same thing for people graduating you know um, you don't I would really take a year off one to figure out who you are outside of high school um, you know in high school I was I was artsy. I was also playing sports and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But who I am today, I'm a little different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I wish I did not make that $100,000 commitment <laughs> at 18 yeah. because I didn't know anything about anything. Mm -hmm. Like I, I had, I had a job. I had yeah. jobs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't really understand like, oh snap, this job really don't make money like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is it really worth going to school for that much money for? Yeah. Um, but I, at the same time, there are things that I enjoyed about being in school. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the friends I met, the community I was able to build. A lot of those friends I'm still friends with today. Yeah. Um, a lot of them I'm not. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm grateful that I was able to build that community, have those experiences. I never, I don't think I ever, no, I would have <laughs> never like if I didn't have any money, yeah. like lived outside of PG County, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I probably would just got another apartment down the street in PG County. Yeah. Um, but it really, even though it was really just the same state, but a different city, it mm -hmm. really opened my eyes to different experiences, to different people. Um, it really, it really, because PG County, like people always talk about like this HBCU, we should do a video about that, but this HBCU <laughs> versus PWI debate. And before oh, yeah. we're not even going to get into that like yeah. that, but um, a lot of people believe that HBCUs are better for black people for college. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I wanted to go to an HBCU, but they didn't have my major. Right. They also cost a lot of money. Yeah. Um, private institutions cost a lot of money. Yeah. And uh, it just we just didn't have it. But I think for me, I don't know about you, PG County was my HBCU experience. I mean, I know that it wasn't collegiate, like I yeah. get it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It wasn't yeah. like professional, yeah. but I had the opportunity in PG County to meet every kind of black person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every kind of black person. That's true. Black emos, black rockers, yeah. black, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, like just, just every kind of black person, black professionals, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Black business owners. Yeah. Um, that to me was my HBCU experience. And yeah. it showed me from my teachers, from my parents, from our community, it showed us what was possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. anything was possible. So I yeah. never had that. I know everybody doesn't have that same right, upbringing, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was a privilege to be able to grow up in PG County and experience yeah. that stuff. Yeah. But um, going to Baltimore County really showed me like how the world really thinks. Right. And I think that was jarring. That was a yeah. culture shock for me. Yeah. Going to a PWI where it's just like mostly white people, yeah. you're just kind of drowning in a sea of whiteness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And trying to find your place. Yeah. Um, and not that it was all bad, but just yeah. very interesting. I didn't yeah. have to do that before. Yeah. You know, you just kind of belong in PG. It's like, oh, you black, okay. Yeah. Versus like, oh, where are my people at? Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. and in college, yeah. so.
Um, would I suggest that yeah. somebody go to college? I think it there that's you know, it depends. Yeah. It depends on Oh, and if you got money, hey. Yeah. I <laughs> I think that would be one of the bigger uh variables in play. Like what's your financial situation look like? Cause one a four-year institution doesn't always have to be the answer. Yeah. Like, community college is a... A great is, option. Yeah. It's a legitimate option. Yes. Um, and also trade schools and other things mm-hmm. like that. Uh, I would say, you know, consider, like, your financial situation. But I would say also consider what... If you have an idea of what you would like to do, mm-hmm. um, that will play a big part. If you don't... Yeah. I would say just honestly to just work <laughs> like until you figure out what you yeah do. Find, find find a way to work somewhere um, because you might as well just make money like yeah. and then have the <laughs> opportunity to um, learn on your own learn some things ask questions kind of like a lot of what Fox said like discover more of yourself yeah because I think there's a lot of pressure on colleges um, or at least the expectation that a lot of people have in regards to college is like, oh, I'm going to go to school and I'm going to find myself. Yeah. But I think the setup is you don't really know until you actually graduate from Yeah, college. you don't. Like, That's so when you start like, finding yeah. yourself. Yeah. So like, you go and you may experience a lot of things while you're in, in school, but it's usually those two, three years afterwards and you're like, oh, well. <laughs> the midlife, the yeah. quarter life crisis. Quarter life crisis. Yeah. And, th- and that varies from person to person. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. people right out of high school they know what they want to do they're mm-hmm. in the, exactly the school and they it, it, bless you yeah it pans out exactly the way they want but a lot yeah. of people they end up going to school a lot happens in those four years mm. or however long you're there and they get out and then things change yeah because like even even while you're in school things can change because mm-hmm. the economy right i, I graduated say, right when the economy yeah crashed. yeah I was, I was gonna say like even i think midway yeah yeah, midway through 08. my my yeah oh eight like halfway 08, my soft, sophomore year is like oh it's a recession. Yep. <laughs> so it's like oh, okay everything that you thought is like oh let's throw it throw all this out of the window. It's like oh what and yeah. then, no everything it, it it doesn't take long yeah. for the world to change. Yeah. Clearly we can see that like what is June yeah six months the yeah. whole world has changed completely different yes. six months yeah yeah so <laughs> so I mean if yeah if you have the opportunity if you have the finances you kind of know what you want to do or you, you do know what you want to do sure go mm-hmm. to college but if not mm-hmm. just work yeah take some time to explore play yeah learn about your certain learn about yourself learn about the world mm-hmm. like again there's tons of books tons of resources tons of stuff that you can constantly uh gain and uh, mm-hmm. build yourself and I, I think that's true even for those who are um adults mm-hmm. like you don't no have matter to be, what age. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like, because I, th- I think a lot of times, even within the corporate space, um, a lot of times people feel like, well, I got to go back to school so that I can continue to advance in my career. Yeah. Well, you also have the opportunity to see if you want to do a t- different career. Yeah. Like you have the opportunity to see if you want to change things, mm-hmm. and um, it may, depending on your circumstance, just like if you were coming out of high school, um, depending on your circumstance, it may not seem as feasible. Because, yeah. of course, like, if you have a family, yeah, you may have like, responsibility. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm just going to go to school for four years. Well, uh, you might want to consider that. You might yeah. want to take some night classes or yeah. whatever, take some classes online. But that opportunity um, is available. And I think that's the pushback from our c- culture currently. It's like, mm-hmm. do we have to keep following the same right, formula? Right, right. And... Um, I think people are starting to see that the formula yeah. don't really work yeah. for a lot of people. Yeah. Like for some people, yes. Yeah. But for a lot of people, no. It's all yeah. about who you know. It's mm-hmm. about your experience. Yeah. Um, even mentioning about like the communities. Yeah. Like there's still ways to build community now that yeah. you don't have to go. You don't have to yeah. go into thousands of dollars of debt to build community. Right. Right. To belong. Like yeah. there are organizations that you can join. You got stuff that, that I did not have yeah. when I was in school. Yeah. Right. So like um, Meetup. Mm-hmm. Meetup 
did not exist when I was in high yeah. school, I don't think. And, and if it did, maybe I just didn't have access to it. Yeah. I don't know. I was on the computer all day. Yeah. But like, you know, like I'm serious, like the yeah. access that people have yeah. now, like you can do oh, yeah. meetups, you can do Facebook groups. Yeah. You can, like it's, you. there's so many different ways to join community. You can join a, a sports team. Like mm-hmm. there, there's so many opportunities for you to connect, even if not face to face online, yeah. um, to build community, to build a, to build a group of people that yeah. you identify with. Yeah. And then even also with resources to education. Yeah. When I was in yep. school, Skillshare was not a thing. Yeah, YouTube University was not really a thing unless yeah. you were trying to do your hair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, but now you can go online and learn anything. Yeah. That's what I do. I use Skillshare. Yeah, the, like the access to knowledge is yeah fathomable at this point. Yeah, like, you can you can literally almost if you want learn whatever you want to learn. Mm-hmm. And yeah. my friend Marcus, um, he's thinking about going back to school, but right now, like, he doesn't have the funds for it. And mm-hmm. so he was like praying about it, and God told him, like, you might not have money, but you have resources. Mm-hmm. And so Marcus's his his um, focus now is to focus on the resources. Like, mm-hmm. there are free classes that people offer online, mm-hmm. you know, like, and there are like workarounds that you can mm-hmm. do, like, to really yeah. become learned in something, so that even if you do go to school, like, you'll already be ahead of the curve. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or you can finesse your way through school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or just finesse your way to a job yeah. based on your experience and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. even with like a lot of online classes and stuff, sometimes you can just get a certification. Yes. And that's enough. And that's enough. You know. Um, yeah. Depending on whatever career or whatever work you're doing. Yeah. So I, you know, it's definitely there's so many options outside of Mm-hmm. what's been told to us or what's mm-hmm. been given and what's been made available yeah 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 or made known that it's available because yeah. even with like entrepreneurship people mm-hmm. would tell you to go major in entrepreneurship mm-hmm. why like yeah. there are entrepreneurs <laughs> everywhere right. yeah. but that we just never we just never like grown me personally mm-hmm. we just i just never saw the local mm-hmm. like food truck right. as an entrepreneur yeah. i didn't see you know what i'm saying the local yeah. babysitter yeah. as an entrepreneur yeah. or the bit you know what i'm saying yeah. like these people are entrepreneurs mm-hmm. you don't have to go to school to ask them yeah. literally like yeah. you don't even you go through four years and you get an internship yeah. you can literally just have an internship at 18 yeah. or at 55 yeah. or at 75 yeah. like 85 whatever yeah. like you can start where you are there are people you know yeah. you know what i'm saying or maybe yeah. people who you don't know you can just yeah. reach out to yeah. um and to learn from yeah like i, I just thought of this as, as an example of that mm-hmm. in regards to entrepreneurship and stuff like that yeah like there have been so many opportunities well, I don't want to say there are so many opportunities, but there, there, there are opportunities to learn stuff like that, but it, it seems very unorthodox. Mm. So, like, two examples that come to mind is, like, one is, like, Girl Scouts. Yes. Girl Scout cookies. That's entrepreneurship. That's entrepreneurship. Like, that's something <laughs> that is taught. Sales. In that. You're, yep. you're selling. You're, you're starting a business. And I know, I, of course, I'm not a Girl Scout, and I've never had the opportunity to be a part of that. But I understand that that is something that's a skill Mm -hmm. and a concept that's taught on purpose Mm -hmm. to influence the young girls Mm -hmm. um and another experience i personally had is like i went to a um i'm sure some of you guys know it's like vector marketing or whatever it's like cutco cutco i think aaron my friend aaron was talking about this recently but go ahead but um you know typically what it is like somebody comes and they have like this one-on-one like sell pitch or whatever and like they show you like all these knives and things like that and somebody cuts a penny and things like that right <laughs> so at uh some point i think i was in high school i i went to one of their interview or whatever like you know it's a thing so you can see if you can be a part of it or whatever and so at the time i was really interested because i was like you know this is gonna be really cool i can learn how to do this da, 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 whatever but at, at the i think it might have been a mixture of things, but like I, I, I eventually didn't do it. Mm. Um, and I think one one influence for me is like I feel like my my parents didn't want me to do it. Cause um, it's a little sketchy. Yeah, it is. It is kind of high sketchy. schooler selling um, knives yeah, for somebody. But I mean, you know, it, it's it's my and you don't know them. You're sorry. Right. And um, I think you know, doing that kind of stuff, it's it's called the. Um, I mean, a lot MLM. Of, yeah, a lot of people like to use like pyramid scheme, pyramid or whatever, scheme. but it's the mar- uh, multi-level marketing. Yeah. Um, so multi-level. Yeah, yeah. Pyramid. And so, but but a lot of entrepreneurs that I know and that I've listened to who are you know respected or mm-hmm. considered like they suggest that, that. like if you want to learn about yeah. sales and marketing and stuff I like mean, that, hey, be a part of it because I mean stuff like Mary Kay, this whatever, it's the same thing. It's like the you're. Same thing. Or very similar. Uh, I don't. I don't want to offend anybody that sells Mary Care or whatever. But if you're selling products and going door to door or yeah. you're setting up meetings and stuff like that, like that is getting you into entrepreneurship. Yeah. It's getting you into self-employment. 
but a lot of times people look down on it because I don't know, you should just go to school, just yeah. go ahead and do this. But no, there, there's Meanwhile, homegirl there. driving a pink Cadillac right. with the <laughs> with exactly. the red cake. You know? No, but yeah. No, I, I totally agree. Yeah. I, I totally agree. I yeah. I would I would definitely say that. Sorry y'all, they're like bugs trying yeah, to get in. Huge flies. Oh, it is big. Yeah, they're huge flies. Um but yes. <laughs> so I don't know. That's that's what I would do. I would just yeah. if I could start over, I would and I would go back in two thousand eight and be like, Listen girl, you are not gonna go <laughs> in the school, you're not don't gonna do, do this it. to yourself. Yeah. Because I mean we're paying for it now, you yeah. know, and uh it's unfortunate, but like the what the student loan debt is like trillions trillions of dollars. I right. can't even fathom like yeah. just trillions of dollars right now in yeah. debt. And you know, to to a lot of people, people look down on us, like our generation, and right. be like, "Oh, well, you should have been more responsible." And da 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 da. <laughs> no, we were we were given predatory loans. Yeah. Like like this one school was not as expensive as it was yeah. today. Like yeah. when you consider inflation, yeah. it is not on par with people yeah. who graduated in the '70s and even the '80s. Yeah. Like yeah, it's it's not on par. It's yeah. not the same. Not you used to be able to work through college. Yeah. Cannot do that right now. Yeah. Cannot. How how? Yeah. How am I supposed to, how? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and it's just, it's just very unrealistic. Like one, you don't qualify for really good paying jobs while you're in college. So you're going to be working at McDonald's or serving or whatever, yeah. making pennies, yeah. making minimum wage, if that. Yeah. And then like on, you know, every, every semester, a semester be like $14,000, sis. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> it's like, what? Like, where's this money coming from? Not yeah. considering if you have a, if you have a car, if you have kids, if you have to live somewhere, mm-hmm. if you have to eat, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like. It's just, it's just not, it's just not playing fair. Yeah. And I really just want people that come after us, even my own kids, to have a fair chance in life. Oh, yeah. um, because right now, it almost feels like for a lot of people, for a lot of us, yeah. we don't have a fair chance. Yeah. We, you know, people change the rules of the game, and we yeah. trying to play the game, and then yeah. they change the rules again. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like, it's not fun. It's not fun when someone calls you asking for a thousand dollars, like, like you got it like that, and yeah. you just graduated. Like, yeah. Just be wise. Yeah, and I, That's I, what I'm gonna I would say. also like to say, like, you know, sometimes, because I think we've seen it, like, on other YouTube videos or whatever, like, people who express, especially our generation or whatever, we express how much it sucks for us. Like, I don't, I don't want you guys to think that we feel necessarily entitled or anything like that. No. no not at all. <laughs> we and just want what we were promised. <laughs> yeah, and not, not at all. And, and also, we're doing our best to take responsibility yeah. for the things that have happened. So yeah. it's not like... Even with this question, you know, it's it's hypothetical. Of course, we know we can't go back in time. Like, <laughs> not yet. Right. No, we can't yeah. do that. And so yeah. we're we're making our effort now to be like, all right, well, this is the issue. Yeah. This is the problem. Let's we're fix gonna, it. Yeah, we're gonna do what we can to fix it. And try not to find ourselves in this place. Right. And right. also try not to try not to let the next generation come. Right. Even if it's not like our kids, but the yeah. people who just graduated yeah. 2020. Yeah. Like y'all don't have to do this. Y'all yeah. do not have yeah. to do this. There are so many other options for yeah. you, and I just don't want y'all to be in bondage like we are. Because right. that's it's exactly exactly what it is it's bondage yeah yeah, exactly um and one thing i will say about student loans um it is predatory Mm -hmm. um they are predatory i don't i don't care like what they promise you i don't Mm -hmm. care like oh if they say like they're the they're leading one no they're in there to make money they don't care about you or your education they're in there to make profit (laughs) off of you um one of my payments for one month was eight hundred dollars and of that eight hundred dollars only 20 of those dollars went towards the principle of what i really yeah um, what I was really lent. Yeah. Meaning that they're making $800 profit yeah. every month yeah. I, I pay my loans. Yeah. Just off the interest. Just off the interest. Like, not so... So there's... So it's set up for you to keep paying yeah. all this money you think you make making a dent and you go online and you try to figure out how you owe more than what yeah. you took out. Yeah. It's because of interest. And this stuff was not explained. Mm-hmm. It was not like really put yeah. up like, oh, this is like what it's this is, this is what it is. You, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people will be like, oh, well, you should have known you should have read the fine print. I was 18. Yeah. You feel me? Like yeah. there was no like at the, I'm still a child at that point. Yeah. Like, yes, legally, I'm 18. Sure. But if I have no financial experience, mm-hmm. meaning all I did was work at McDonald's and serve like I don't really have financial yeah. and I don't really understand yeah. finances. Yeah. So to put that responsibility on eight, 18 year olds is yeah. irresponsible on the lender's part. Yeah. It just is. It's predatory yeah. because anyone who is financially like literate would be like, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, 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 uh. Interest rates. So high. Interest, right. Why is it so high? You know <laughs> right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, and unfortunately, like even our parents, when they took out loans, it wasn't the same as us. Mm-hmm. It's not the same. Yeah. Um, so we out here struggling. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people in our generation are struggling. Yeah. And if you want to call me entitled, 
feel free. I really don't care. It is screwed up. It yeah. is screwed up. It is evil. Yeah. It's unjust. It's yeah. evil. Um, and so, yeah. So, yeah, we are taking responsibility and we're trying to come up with a plan to pay down this debt. More yeah. on that later. But um, we're trying to pay off all of our debts and not have to borrow money from anybody anymore. Yeah. I want to be able to give people money. Like, yeah. I don't need to lend them anything. Yeah. If I ain't got it, I'm not going to give it. Yeah. And so that's just the that's just the the principles that we stand on yeah. and um biblically like yeah. like you know what i'm saying the lender is slave to the borrower we yeah. know that so right now we are in bondage and we're trying to get out of it um and uh even if we didn't know the ignorance whatever we're taking full responsibility yeah. like this is something we signed up for yeah. we did and yeah. uh so yeah so now going forward now that we know better yeah. we're gonna do better yeah. and also help other people do better yeah. and i think that's the that's the important part because yeah. I'm sharing these grievances to hopefully resonate with you or your children or whatever yeah. so that they can actually make an informed decision yeah. because I wasn't informed yeah. when I made that decision. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Good so stuff. Yeah. <laughs> was, there, was there any other questions that we had? Or was that? Oh, um, I, I think that was it. it. Okay. Cool. Yay. Cool. Well, thanks again, guys, for watching, keeping up with us. Yes. Um, yeah, again, we really appreciate all the likes reviews comments and subscriptions and stuff like that and special the shout dialogue. out to our, our, our patrons yay um, continue to support us we yes. really 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 do appreciate we it. do and um <laughs> y'all are really making a difference yes yeah, yeah. honestly and it's also very encouraging to again i, I think i said this before in, in another video um but just that people actually find what we say in our experience interesting yeah because we just so, yeah. yeah off the cuff yeah and so i'm glad Trial that we can um, share stuff with you guys and that uh, it can be some benefit or a help or at least maybe even entertainment sure. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to you all so I really yeah. really really do appreciate it so until next time you guys be safe yes please and, you know stay please. safe be well yes much love much love to you. bye